friends, it's Flora and today we are talking about biomedical engineering. To give y'all a little bit of background, I'm currently a first year BME student at the University of Waterloo. Today I'll be going over what exactly is biomedical engineering, the types of courses that you'll take throughout your degree, co-op and job placements, post-graduation, and last but not least, why this may or may not be the major for you. First things first, what exactly is biomedical engineering? Well, according to the University of Waterloo, it's employing engineering know-how to better diagnose disease, treat health problems, and enhance human health. From my own experience, biomedical engineering is basically the combination of a bunch of different engineering disciplines, from mechanical engineering with things like biomechanics, to electrical engineering with biomedical signals and circuitry, all the way to software engineering. It's truly what you make out of it, but the whole time we have an overarching theme of human health. That also means that BME is very interdisciplinary. So you can opt to work with people such as medical professionals like surgeons or doctors, to policymakers, all the way to your fellow engineers and scientists. At Waterloo, you can also choose to specialize in either neural engineering or sports engineering in your later years, so that's third or fourth year. In addition, you can opt to take an option. So those are things that aren't directly covered by the VME curriculum, but are still somewhat related to engineering. So that can include software engineering and AI or life sciences. Something that's pretty interesting about BME is that we typically have more people who identify as girls or gender non-conforming than guys, which is really atypical of engineering programs. So take Waterloo's computer engineering. It's typically every like five guys to every one girl. BME, breaking gender constructs one day at a time. So take from that what you will. Now that we have a general idea of what BME is, let's go over what courses you'll be taking. In first and second year, you'll be mostly building the engineering fundamentals. So that's pretty similar to other engineering courses such as systems design engineering at Waterloo. And when you get to third and fourth year, that's where you'll take the more interesting technical electives. So things like the physics of medical imaging and so on and so forth. For my first year in first semester, the courses that I took were engineering communications, a CAD course, so that's computer aided design where we use SOLIDWORKS, intro to CS, so that's digital computation where we use C sharp, intro to biomedical design, physics, so statics one, where we learned a lot about shank feet, and last but not least, fundamental engineering math one, so that's calculus, and linear algebra so matrices and linear algebra. Yes. Yes. Ooh. So this semester I am taking a weekly seminar, uh, data structures and algorithms, where we use C++, human factors in engineering design. What else is there? I should have six total. So uh, two of my math courses, so fundamental engineering math two, where we mostly do multivariable calc, another linear algebra course, and last but not least, my only elective this year, which is psychology 101. So intro to psych. Later on, you can expect, uh, not trying to expose any scandalous shoulder today. <laughs> Later on, you will take courses such as BME 384, so that's biofluids and mass transfer, uh, BME 381, which is biomedical ethics, and also BME 581, which is ultrasound imaging in physics, no, in medicine and biology, which is a, also a technical elective. If y'all want to read more about all the nitty gritty details about the BME course load, I will link all that good information down below in the description as well. And now for co-op. I will not lie to you guys, engineering tuition is not cheap. I am paying about 17,000 Canadian dollars this year alone in tuition. So that's not including any living expenses or textbooks. But then again, I'm living at home. So your girl isn't paying for any living expenses anyway. So one good thing about COVID, I guess trying to be positive. <laughs> Something that is pretty interesting about biomedical engineering is that a fair number of students actually go into software engineering. I cannot say that I blame them at all. Like, have you seen what tech companies pay? It's, it's a lot of money. As for other common areas of interest, I will put up a lovely graph provided by the 2019 grad class from Waterloo BME detailing the different types of jobs that uh, people took throughout their co-op degrees or their 
engineering degrees according to co-op term. As you can see, software engineering is followed by research and also PM, which is pro product management. Yes. As for salary, the general trend is that it increases as you progress into later co-op terms. I mean, is expected. Like the more experience you have, the more you get paid. The two main factors that influence the salaries of biomedical engineering students were whether their jobs were in industry or research, and also whether the job was located in the US which pays a lot more, or Canada. Especially at Waterloo, BME is really what you make out of it. With the engineering fundamentals that you'll learn in class, you're pretty much equipped to work outside of the biomedical industry, which is actually what most students do, especially in first and second year, because we don't really have the experience to apply into the biomedical industry. For example, myself, I'm working as a product designer for my internship this coming summer. And that doesn't really have a lot to do with biomedical engineering other than the whole design aspect. It's truly what you make out of it, whether you work in BME or not. And now the burning question, should you or should you not major in BME? If you're a STEM nerd with an interest in health and want a degree that will open up a ton of different opportunities, then BME, especially at Waterloo, because I can't really speak for other programs, I guess, might just be the program for you. On the flip side, if you're interested in going down the med school path, then you might want to reconsider. Though it's not exactly unheard of for students in biomedical engineering to go into medicine, it is definitely a heck of a lot harder to get all those pre-med prerequisites squeezed into your schedule, especially when engineering schedules don't really give you much leeway for picking electives. It's doable, like I know a couple people who have done this, but it's definitely not the easiest path. So if that's you, you may want to reconsider and look at programs such as biomedical sciences or something along those lines. I hope you all found this useful and perhaps it even helped you decide whether you want to go into biomedical engineering. If y'all have any suggestions for future videos, please drop it down below in a comment as I do read and reply to each and every one of them. So if you want to get a hold of me, that is definitely the best way. I am considering doing a vlog where I actually get my crap together, especially for finals week, but we will see about that. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I will catch you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye bye.